everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to another daily energy draw today is thursday hope you guys are doing well with all this energy that's coming in with the new moon and the 444 portal um do let me know how you guys are doing so because we've spent most of the week talking about dragons and unicorns and spirit animals i thought we would use the spirit animal oracle deck so let's see um let's see what message we have here today just a reminder i will be closed to personal readings next week um so if you have an emergency reading if you if you're in need of emergency reading i do do those so do make sure that you contact me um for an emergency reading those will be the only ones that i am taking at this time all right so what do we have for thursday what do you have for Thursday? What do you want us to know for Thursday? I knew this card was going to come out because I kid you not, as I was shuffling, I was looking at my little Labradorite turtle here and look at the card that came out. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> turtle spirit. So, um, okay. So this says slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. So this has an energy of forward motion, but it's, how do I say this? It's like... As I was as I was looking at my turtle, um, it was an energy of, of it's an energy of anticipation. It's an energy of excitement brewing, an energy of wanting to take action, but an energy of patience is needed. Um, it's almost like with this energy here with this card, it feels like They're giving me the word calculated. The reason why I'm hesitating is because it doesn't feel calculated as in um, a manipulative way. It feels calculated in like a planning kind of way, a strategizing kind of way, in like a uh, emperor kind of way. The emperor um, in his divine right, uh, not in the distortion energy, in his divine right, he takes control. He is strategic. He is logical. He takes action. He takes authority. He comes from a place where he expresses himself and takes action with the mind and the heart and both embodied, both in alignment. That's his energy here. This feels like divine masculine energy. Now, I don't mean divine masculine energy within the sacred partners, though. You can take it that way if it's resonating for you. Divine masculine energy could be for you as well if you're a divine feminine because, remember, you hold both energies within you. But this feels really positive. This feels like whatever it could be. It could be your relationship, your sacred partnership. It could be if there's a project. Um, it could be if there's um, some external situation, like if you're moving homes, if you are building a business, if you have creative projects, whatever it is, family life, whatever it is, this feels like they're, they're guiding you to, um, it's like they're saying merge the practical with the intuition, merge the logic with the heart. And that is union. That is the balancing of the energies. Um, listening trusting your your intuition listening to your intuition but also doing so from a practical logical mindset um it's it's this energy of planning that's this energy it's this energy of calculating but but not it doesn't feel manipulative it doesn't feel controlling it doesn't feel ego egotistical it just feels like strategizing for the next right step the next perfect step that's what this feels like so it feels like there's an energy of it's it's almost like the knight of wands right, can be very impulsive, can be very reckless, can be very, like, passionate, and because of that passion, he just goes for it. He feels that fire burning within him, and he just goes for it. This energy feels good, because this feels more balanced. This feels more grounded. They just told me this feels more like Knight of Pentacles energy. It's sincere. It's just as passionate. It's just as emotional and um, action-oriented, but it's a little bit slower because it's a little bit more practical. It's a little bit more planned. It's a little bit, it's not rush, 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 which can scare you, especially if we're talking about 
divine partnerships or, or actually anything, if we go into it, that's where our fear can trigger self-sabotage and protective energy and put our guards right up because it's not expected. Remember yesterday we talked about we talked about new moon in Taurus was expected unexpected. Because something can be so unexpected, it can be it's like in your face. It's like, oh my God, wait, 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 I gotta I gotta pull back, I gotta hold off. This feels like it's taking that energy and saying, slow down a little bit, calm down. It's almost like they're saying, feel that passion, that passion, that fire is is meant for you, but rein it in a little bit so that you are doing so from a logical standpoint, you're doing so from a practical standpoint, where you're taking it step by step. Feel that passion within your heart, that passion is love, that passion is excitement that passion is anticipation that passion is what moves us forward that fire within us is what moves us forward but so they're not saying pull back as in stop but they're saying take your time don't be afraid to take your time um because we don't want that guard going back up especially around our heart especially when we're talking about these sacred unions um and again relate it as it relates to you it could be anything it could be business home life moving whatever it is um but especially when it comes to love you don't want to be caught in fear you don't want to be caught in that self sabotage mode of wait a minute wait a minute put my guard back up because this is coming at me too fast this feels like it's much more it it feels much more stable they're asking you to be much more stable, much more grounded, which we talked about yesterday as well. So slow and steady wins the race. That's beautiful. And um, what's interesting, what they're showing me is when the turtle, we're talking about sea turtles here. They're showing me sea turtles. When the sea turtle is on the sand, he's kind of um, he's kind of a slow poke. He kind of is a slow poke. He's taking his time. He's he's getting there. He's getting there. He's getting there because that's not his natural habitat really you know they they wash up onto the shore to lay their eggs but they are sea turtles and then once they get into the water then they take off that's where they're most comfortable that's this energy here it feels like slow and steady wins the race take it practically take it you know make sure you have a plan make sure it's done right take that next right step step by step by step allow your heart and intuition to lead you but do so from a very grounded nature not that impulsive not that reckless energy but very grounded energy because once you get that momentum going that's when it's full steam ahead that's this energy here once you get that momentum going so to speak, when the turtle gets into the sea, that's when it's full steam ahead. And they're pointing to relationships here, so I've got to say it. Um, things might be coming in slowly for you and your sacred partnership, but once both of you realize that there's love, and you, you're realizing that there's love there, but once you realize that the guards are down, once both of you are not resisting this, once you're not protecting your heart, especially from the pain of the past, then it's like it's full steam ahead. Then it's like the momentum picks up and you're both opening up your heart. You're both healing together. You're both coming into this harmony together because you're both offering yourselves to each other. You're both in equal reciprocity. That's what this feels like. So that, I knew it. In my little turtle here, I knew that was going to come out. That's, that's just amazing. That's amazing. All right, you guys. That's going to be it for today's Daily Energy Draw. We'll be back tomorrow with Romance Angels Friday. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. We'll see you then. Bye.